As the old adage goes, diamonds really are a girl's best friend. But if more boys realize this, the world just might be a better place. You know what, I'm glad you said boys because real men understand this. They know that a diamond is more than just the price it costs. It's about that dazzling sparkle it puts in her eye. And tonight, our very own Ilana gets frosted. Romance, true love, call it what you may. When a man is planning a second proposal like Ian was, he needs something extra special. Gentlemen, the word is bespoke. We have a service called Create Your Own Ring, so anyone can have anything special, something unique, something bespoke. We want to be able to do something that's unique for every customer, and if you want something unusual, we can create that for you. And also it makes it more personal because you can be part of creating and crafting your own ring. So we hand make the ring for you. We help you to select the stones, the design, and we certify the ring and the stones after it's been done. Well, they were looking for a couple who are in love. I guess we are. <laughs> and they wanted to share a diamond experience. The thing is anyone can have a diamond or create a very, very special ring. And because we're just ordinary people, we knew that we can tell our own story. Now, of course, the thing that everyone is talking about tonight is that beautiful ring. Ian, take us through the journey that you went through to design this ring. You know what's been great about this journey, Leanne, is the American Swiss people are amazing, right? So they make you part of it from the very beginning. So you're not just walking into a store and selecting a random ring that you don't have a bond with. Because not only do you have it for life, but it's something really special. Like, it's a symbol of your relationship, so it should be spectacular. And I think that's what we found. Having considered a number of styles and shapes, Ilana finally narrowed the design down, but then made the American Swiss design team wait to sleep on it. Ian's second proposal was done on bended knee and there was no more waiting around. It was amazing. I think when you think about proposing in a store, you think that's not intimate, but it was intimate tonight. I'm very excited for them and I and American Swiss wish them everything of the best. Well, how to make me feel? Uh, excited and nervous like any man would be when he proposes. The story was that almost two years ago we got engaged for the first time and the first time around, I don't think I nailed it in the romantic sense as well as I wanted to. Like I'm a romantic soul at heart, I wanted to do better and I thought, you know what? Beautiful diamond, a room full of people who we've got a good relationship with, the woman I love, this is a big diamond, I'm going to propose to you. Now both of you are stars in your own right, but I think the biggest star of the night has to be this beautiful ring. Ilana, tell us about the design. So I was very fortunate, I had a choice of what I can choose. I chose a cushion diamond, so it's a one carat cushion diamond with a lot of friends next to it. I chose a platinum, and what's nice about it is it's, it's two separate bands. Well, I think Ian would agree that it's a diamond for a diamond. You both are so amazing. And thank you so much for including us in your evening, guys. You are sensational. You're a diamond. You're a diamond. Ian Breedenkamp, you've set the bar high for all South African men. What can be more special than receiving a just because gift from someone? And now that gift could be super sparkly because all diamonds are 25% off at American Swiss till the 31st of August. Tonight can only be described as magical. I think every woman in the room had a twinkle in her eye and it's not just because of the diamonds but also because of the promise of love. Oh, love everlasting and I tell you what, I think in the eyes of Ilana and Ian, a carrot has never looked that good. I only have one question though, if that's what the ring looked like, what did the labola look like? <laughs>